Vlogging. It's Thursday, mid morning. Say mid. I was gonna pick this thing up like early this morning, and I forgot. Say it's the last day riding in the sand, huh, dude? Mm -hmm. you know. And then a little bit of riding in the rain. You're gonna you're gonna go riding in the rain. Do <laughs> Yeah. All right. Getting dressed. Got the guys from uh, the Moto Company out here filming me the last few days. Yes, yeah, so it's Thursday before the Wild Board GNCC, and it's probably our last day riding down here in Florida for a, a while. Got all sorts of special guests coming in today. Mac Faint. <laughs> What's going on? Look for the cat. What are you doing, huh? Uh, rest your hands up. Yeah, there you go. Don't forget to smile. Yeah. Biggest thing. People always forget. Alright, so we'll just, yeah, look towards me. Yeah, special, towards special, day. special day. Great day. Special day. Last day in Florida. I'm going to miss it because it's going to be cold where I'm going back home, but it's going to be. I don't know. Exciting to ba be back in the dirt and not suffer in the sand. You're gonna miss all the blown berms. Nah. Is Hopefully, it that cold? do what? Is it that cold in North Carolina? It's gonna be chilly. I mean, it's gonna be like 40s, 50s. Really? Yeah. I mean, Still? it's like 80 here. So. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's for at least a couple weeks. Last year, I went home and I was like, "Why the hell did I come home?" <laughs> yeah. Like, couldn't do nothing. It was like 30s and 40s. It was bad. All right, let's get this shit over with. <sighs> you good? Yeah. Okay. Look at that heart rate's already high. The adrenaline of being excited on leaving. <laughs> Run down. Probably last day in Florida. I'm glad because it's hotter than two peckered toad out here. A little humid for this uh, this heavy boy. So what are the lap times looking like? Uh, probably do uh, 8.59 this first one. He had a little bit of a hiccup to start with. Then we're looking to roll down into 8.48, 8.46. Three lapper here last day at Ranch Russell. Uh, we have a free fly M15 gimbal with a red raven here. So it's pretty basic, but Easy running gun setup for shooting motocross. Oh yeah. Sweet. Nice and light too. Did you get that focus pull? Well, that was sketch. I did, I did actually. Nice. Yeah, you know. That's why they call me a professional. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, you got sketchy right there. Right before uh, he came, I was like, man, this would be a bad spot if he, if he gets buck wild and then his foot came off. <laughs> do it for the shot, though. Gotta do it for the shot. Yeah. I usually stay pretty safe, but I was telling Caleb, the only time I've ever like really like cheated death was with Wally Palmer. But that no, none of it. That's, yeah, and that's not surprising to anybody, right? <laughs> That guy's a wild yeah, man. Yeah, no shock to anybody. Oh my god. I thought I was in like a pretty safe space and then he just, yeah, I mean he just pins it, you know? He sends it. I feel way more confident with Caleb. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good morning. 
are you guys doing up so damn early? <laughs> Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Say, Collins got up at six. I get up at six. Huh? She thinks it. I'm feeding her off a cruise plate. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's eating up. Oh, I guess I figured I'd vlog this weekend <laughs> since I can't run a GoPro on top of my helmet. <laughs> Do you want some scrambled eggs? Yeah, I do. Will you come see I'll make them. <laughs> okay. We are at my place, uh, Ranch Russell, hanging out, just getting ready to Saturday. It's a little weird staying at, you know, the, ra the track's only like six miles from the house. Or, well, it's not a house, it's a barn, it's a building. <laughs> it's a shop. You got Jesse's bike. Liam, Johnny G, all my stuff, my bike. Starting to pack up because it's like I'm getting excited going home next week. So I've already started packing my trailer up and moving all my stuff out of here. But uh, yeah, we're staying here this weekend. That way we got bedrooms and obviously a kitchen and stuff. It's just more comfortable. Got two kids, motorhome's cramped. And Stella. Now we're gonna make some breakfast. All right, <laughs> breakfast is made. Already got a big old plate of bacon and sausage over here that probably ain't gonna touch. Hey crew, you eat all this? You gonna eat all this bacon over here? The whole plate. This looks like this looks like something you'd eat for breakfast over here. This plate. Yeah. My plate. Cruise plate. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm heading to the track. I'll see you in a little bit. Why don't you change clothes? It's like it's 11 o'clock now. You can get out of that. Okay. All right. See you later. All right, got finished up riding the bike. John came over, tracks on like I said, six miles away, so it's pretty easy. Got my little, oh yeah, my trash mobile. That was my, my whip for the weekend. The rental, I can beat it up. Can't nobody yell at me. Start her up. Safety first. All right, off to the races we go. Awfully weird. Man, my face looks like shit. Pulling into the track. Packed house today. Hog Waller. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can uh, sneak by without getting yelled at here. Got a hard card, but I always forget it. Luckily, I remembered it this time. There's my dude. How's it going? What's going on, Keith? Same old shit. Yeah. At least it's warmer. <laughs> Warm. It is warmer, but at least it's not too hot. Yes. Yeah, that 80, 85 degree stuff wouldn't have been good. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. See ya. See ya. I have to say, Pro Row is looking mighty healthy this year. We got the Yamaha Semi, okay, Cowie, Honda, Husky, KTM, got Sherco, new players, Beta, full. It's packed house down through here. This is Raymond, Levi Say, Ben Wilson, David Dippetswale, Carter Donahue, and Trevor Payne in
Coastal semi, geez. I done forgot about them, Ricky. Cool, I had to stop the camper, make a quick outfit change. So the camper's acting as the office to the sign-up trailer this weekend, since obviously I'm staying at our building. Nan Ann's camper broke down. Y'all know Nan Ann as Rita. I know her as Nan Ann. But she is borrowing my camper. But all my team gear is in my camper, so I had to come change. Quick pit stop. We've got a packed house tonight. So many people in here. Look at that. We got Chuck. <laughs> Where are all the where are all the people at, Chuck? At home. Stay at home. Well, you got the guys from Motion Pro. We got some new we got some new new some new tools here. <laughs> Slack setter Pro. Look at this. Make sure you got that chain dialed in. Yeah, only the fans is for KTM. You guys want to give us a rundown how it works? Yeah. So you guys said you use 55. You guys said you use 55 millimeters, right? Yep. So this thing slides freely, so does this. So we can go right here, grab the top, and then put that right on the bottom. You can ch check it right behind here, and then pull it and make sure. Look at that, almost at 55. I need to loosen it up a little bit, but yeah. Looking perfect. Cool. Rad, rad. There you go. Perfect chain tension, every time. Works like a charm. When I was your age, I was gonna vlog myself eating, but I already ate it. So, I'll vlog. Hey, I'll vlog. hey, don't worry, we got pie coming. Pie? Yep. Yeah. I might have some. Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> We've got like half the amount of people we normally do, so there should be more to go around. Mm -hmm. Bigger slices of pie. Bigger slices of For pie. Bigger guys. <laughs> that doesn't mean the whole pie. I don't think so. Alright, fast bike race time. Crew's all excited. Got a new bike. Other one blown up, so we had to get him a new bike. Gonna have to teach him how to, where, to start, where to line up. Where'd you come all the way to the outside, dude? You're supposed to go to the inside, man. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a prayer with Ricky, he's gonna good show, good tell you the start procedures, and then we're gonna get going, alright? It's just a practice lap right here, okay? Right, come on, practice lap. Practice lap. That's why, two five lap races. So when you get done with this, you take your little break, drink some Gatorade and rest, and we'll do it again, alright? You wanna have a word of prayer together? Everybody close your eyes, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for just letting them race, keep them safe. As we come down to the final race of the day, forgive us of our sins, Christ, let me pray, amen. And listen, I'm going to back up on the first turn, I'm going to do this like I do the big guys. I'm going to show you one finger, then I'm going to weigh the blue flag, and then my left arm is going to go out. When I bring it back in, I wait about 10 seconds, and I'll throw the green flag and take off, all right? Y'all ready? All right, good luck to you, all right? Go! Was that a good race? It's a good race. 
You won. <laughs> <laughs> no talk. Man, if you won. All right, back to the building after a long, pretty productive day. Not bad. It's been good. Good day. Road, cycle to track, fast bike race. Crew one, one one. Nice, first first one one score. We might have to get him in here for an interview. Tell us hungry. Gonna get cleaned up, watch some Supercross, go to sleep. Long day, brutal day tomorrow. See you boys in the morning. Good morning. Race day. It's uh, about 7:30. Just got downstairs, gonna make some breakfast. Man, the freaking time changed last night, so. It's uh, we lost an hour of sleep, which sucks. Luckily, the, the kids, they have been uh, <clears throat> getting up like 6.30 in the morning. Luckily, they didn't, they didn't get up at 5.30. That's what I thought was gonna happen, but they were pretty worn out from yesterday, being at the track all day, so they slept in. But, uh, Getting ready to make me some breakfast. Come on. Getting ready to make some breakfast. Get all my stuff together. Take my little beater over the track. Start the day. Go check out the track and... Yeah. Get going. What are they doing? Are they fighting? Boomer, what do you got? Get out of here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. You being so happy. What are you doing, dude? How was your race yesterday? Mm -hmm. Alright, bye Bubba. Bye. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you're gonna get dressed and come to the track. Yeah. You're gonna get dressed and go to the track? Okay, good talk. <laughs> good talk. I might not have been. See you later. Love you too. See you in a little bit. All right, me and Joe are headed to the track. Catching a ride today. Gotta drive the camper back, so. Chandler, I'll take my truck. I'll ride with JoJo. My old Jeep, whose Jeep is this? Uh, it's the one that stays at a condo. It's what? It's the one that stays at the condo down here. Oh. Cold. Is that your tiara? It's my little crown. It's fitting. Hey, Ooh. You watch, uh, morning, Bob. You watch like other morning, Woody. Like, hey, like, Daniel, uh, how are you? Good. Like um, the, uh, Vegas. Do you pay extra for bananas that say organic on them? Of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, that it sticker costs more to print it, right? You got accused of breaking the banana holder. I did. Where is the banana holder? I guess I broke it. That's the first I heard about. Sounds like we found out. <laughs> you didn't even know. I thought it. I thought most organic, yeah. or most bananas were already like organic. Yeah. You didn't even know you. And broke anything it. that like comes from the ground or grows from a tree, you like. I think so. But they yeah. must have something new. They probably process. They probably process this in in house. Exactly. And it's more organic than natural. That's how it works. Exactly right. But you did break the banana. I don't think I did, but so how is, uh, I'll take the blame. I'll, I'll take problem. the blowback for it. <laughs> How's that? You must stay within the confines of these markings. You got the handle addition, on it, thanks, You may not get to the inside of a white pole corner marker. If you see an X, X is signal danger, so please use caution in these areas as they are yeah, difficult sections of the track. A gear, w so. means long way. The gear looks good, huh? I'm wondering, do you ever see yourself coming back to the off-road racing world? Definitely so. Uh, as soon as uh, Supercross and Motocross are over, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get back here as hard as I can and uh, maybe duke it out with a couple of these top runners.
Sounds like a great time, and you never know. Maybe we'll see you in Iron Man this year, huh? What do you tell Daddy? So. I'm, uh, I'm looking What'd to uh, you make my way out there and uh, maybe when? battle it out with uh, old number one over there. Ooh, that sounds uh, pretty interesting. And speaking of number one, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to KR himself, of course, Caleb Russell. For those of you that don't know, the winningest rider in two-wheel history in GNCC racing with 61 wins to his credit and of course seven national championships as we have this opportunity to say farewell Caleb your last opportunity for a start here in the sands of Florida as an XC1 pro yeah I'm looking forward to uh, getting out of this place and uh, you know I could, I could say never coming back because it's brutal it's not much fun when uh, racing for three hours I enjoy Florida I love I love it down here and I like the sand, but uh, man, it's brutal for three hours, and the sand loops are deep, and uh, this is a tough, really tough place. So, um, looking forward to getting out there, and uh, hopefully, put on a good show today. Seven-time TNCC champion, 61 wins to his credit, looking for 62 here today on an FMF Factory Racing KTM from Boonville, North Carolina, the number one. And row number one, the XC1 Pro will be off and rolling at our Moose Racing World Board GNCC. Right, 
thing to relax. And, you know, it's, it's easy to do that when you're not under pressure. You can kind of do your own thing and uh, pick your lines and get, get around the lappers uh, a little bit stress-free. So uh, it was a good day. Brutal course. It wasn't as bad as it has been in years past. I, I don't know why, but uh, I don't know why that is. But yeah, it's just, just a little bit easier this year than normally. But uh, still, nonetheless, my hands are killing it, man. <laughs> they're, they're, they're smoked. So uh, I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow.